So 8.51, we have nitroglycerin, and it's going to explode and produce a lot of real <coughs> uh, stable molecules that are much more stable than it, so it's going to release uh, all this potential energy. So in this balanced reaction, so this is one where I would probably not balance it for you. So I would expect you to be able to balance reactions. I would just give you the substances uh, with their formulas on both sides of the equation and expect you to be able to balance it. The main reason I don't do that is because it's an important skill to have, but it's also something that is one of the more basic skills in this section and most students can do. So it's a way for you to earn points in any question where there's a reaction. You balance the reaction in that question, you earn some points. <coughs> so we've got 12 CO2, 10 waters, and 1 oxygen. <coughs> so I've got my balanced reaction. And it says it's going to generate a large amount of heat. It is a sudden formation of these gases and their rapid expansion that produces an explosion. What is the maximum amount of O2 in grams that can be obtained from 2 times 10 to the second grams of nitroglycerin? So on part A, they're asking us to convert a quantity in the, of nitroglycerin into an equal quantity of O2. So we don't want to change the quantity, we just want to change the units and we want to get grams of O2 if we're starting with 2.00 times 10 to the second grams of nitroglycerin. I'll just put N, I'll put uh, NG for nitroglycerin. Again, we want to keep track of what the substance is not just what the units are, because we can only cancel grams with grams if they're for the same substance, or moles with moles if they're for the same substance. So in this example, <coughs> we know we have grams of a substance. Any information about a substance, if we want to convert that into information about a different substance, we have to convert to moles first, because the only relationship between two substances is the mole to mole relationship, in this case a 4 to 1 ratio in the balanced reaction. So I've got to get to moles first, so that means I have to cancel the grams of nitroglycerin and get moles of nitroglycerin. And that relationship between grams and moles for a substance you get by adding up the masses on the periodic table. So 3 carbons plus 5 hydrogens plus 3 nitrogens plus nine oxygens gives me 227.10 grams of nitroglycerin per mole. <clears throat> the reason I'm converting into moles is because I want to get information about the quantity of oxygen in the relationship between one substance, in this case the nitroglycerin and the oxygen, is a mole relationship. And the balance reaction tells me four moles of nitroglycerin are needed to produce one mole of O2. So I can also start to see some things canceling here. And then if I have moles of a substance and I want grams of the same substance, then I'd use the molar mass of that substance. So I'd add two times the mass of oxygen and that would give me 16 times 2, 32 grams of O2 for every one mole of O2. So that gives me the units I want. So then I just multiply all the stuff on top, divide by all the stuff on the bottom, and I get 7 point to three sig figs, I'm limited to 7.05 grams. If 
questions about that one? Other questions? Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Part B. There's more than one part. Calculate the percent yield if the reaction actually generated 6.55 grams. So percent yield is, like any percentage, the amount you got divided by the amount possible times 100. So the amount we got, it says it's actually generating 6.55 grams. The amount possible we just calculated. So we just really calculated the theoretical yield. We calculated if we started with a certain amount of the reactant, how many grams of this specific product would we have gotten? Assuming everything reacts. Assuming that all the moles I actually have get converted into the stoichiometric amount of the other substance. So the maximum amount possible, if I'm limited by this 200 grams of nitroglycerin, the maximum amount possible of oxygen I can get out from that is 7.05 grams. So the actual 6.55 divided by theoretical times 100 and I get 92.9%. .9%.